The story of the development of acupuncture in Japan starts in the 7th century AD, when, which was a time of uh, great cultural exchange between China and Japan. Lots of monks were coming over from the mainland at that point, bringing technology and arts that had never seen, been seen before in Japan. What they found at this time is that the medicine being practiced in China was actually a lot more advanced than that being practiced in Japan at the time and so it was assimilated into the culture. From here there's a long history of development and unique changes. Some of the more impo important ones are those made by Waichi Sugiyama in the 17th century. He's attributed with the development of the guide tube and the advanced palpation skills that are used today in Japanese acupuncture. The story goes that Waichi Sugiyama was actually unable to insert a needle painlessly and so went to a shrine to meditate for many months. Upon coming out of the shrine, he saw a hollow piece of bamboo and a pine needle and had a moment of inspiration where he realized that a needle could be inserted painlessly using a guide tube to block off the skin around the point of insertion. This led to the development of thinner needles which don't require manual insertion and it also led to the refinement of painless needling skills in Japanese acupuncture. Waichi Sugiyama was actually a blind man and thus he focused a lot more on his palpation skills than his actual questioning skills in treatment. This has led to the development of quite refined palpation skills in Japanese acupuncture that we know today. In the 20th century AD we see a renaissance to the classics, particularly the Nanjing. Out of this was born the practice of meridian therapy, with a focus on the channels and the five element theory. Today in Japan, that meridian therapy has been combined with the modern TCM ideas by practitioners such as Masakazu Ikeda and Shudo Denme to bring together what we know today as Japanese acupuncture.